Low key and staying candid Reflect on all the things I try my hand at Search for the equation to persuasions I'm used to Find a comfort in the zones of class of bones I can lose Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bobby93MacBoy. Today I have a tutorial for you guys and what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today is edit audio or songs that you've put into your video for certain clips that you want to do in iMovie 09. So that probably didn't really make much sense what I just said, but basically what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is if you've watched any of my videos, you know how I have my intro at the very beginning of all, all of my videos and then afterwards it leads right into the oh, clip trials. of it leads right into the clip of the movie but I as you guys know I always put a different song or a song in general uh, to go along with my intro and I always choose specific parts of the song what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today is how I select the part of the song that I like and this part of the song that I want to go with my intro and uh, how I do that in iMovie so First, what you're going to need to do is put your intro, or if you're not doing this to an intro, you do it to any clip in your movie. But all you need is your clip with no audio that you want to do, or you can do it with audio. I just do it without audio. And then uh, right after the clip, the clip that Hello, you're, Mac. Hold up. Yeah. Are you going to be building into. Hold up, let me f make it fit. All right. So here's my intro, and here's the clip it's leading into. Hello, Mac. Hold up. Here I All right, so... Now what I do is that after I've done this, I have my whole video here that I'm about to put on YouTube and then my intro right here. I click on the music button or the mu little music tab right down here and then it comes up with my music, uh, my all my music playlists and iTunes and I can choose whatever I want. There's also iMovie sound effects, iLive sounds, all the different things and I have currently my recently added playlist selected. So I'm going to look for a song that I want to put. Um, let's see. How about My Life Be Like? So what I do now is in, um, I take the song that I want. And oh, by the way, if you guys didn't know this, you can preview it. My Life Be Like. Uh, yeah. And it's a little laggy because I am screen recording this at, while I'm editing a video. So I drag it to the front of my video. I don't see how when you drag it here, it selects the entire uh, movie. I drag it to right to the front of my video. And then it comes up with this little green bar down here at the bottom. Now, but if you want to edit the length of it, it's easy. You can either do it through the clip trimmer. Or, or you can either do it through yeah sorry the clip adjustment or the yeah the clip adjustment or you can just select the whole thing and drag it to the length of the clip so now you guys see I have my intro along with the uh, audio my life be like Yeah, so as you guys see, this uh, does put the audio along with the clip, but the thing about this is this isn't the part of the song that I want to do, and if you guys try to make the clip longer and shorten it from one end, it, it just keeps that one part, uh, the first 9.9 .9 seconds of the audio song. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to trim that or move this selection that you want to use. So what you're going to go now, now that you have your 9.9 .9 seconds, you're going to click this little drop down and click clip trimmer. And then it'll bring down this window right here. And this will, uh, the part that is selected between the two little yellow bars and that is highlighted, that is the part that is going to be showing up on the um, video itself. During the, er, during the video itself, that's the 9.9 .9 seconds. And uh, the shaded part is the parts of the song that isn't being used. So say I want to start when the chorus gets a little heavier. So what I'm doing right now is I'm looking for the part of the song that I want to uh, use. I want to start where the uh, verse starts, so let's look. Let's search for that. So 
So right, right about here, this is where the verse starts. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my, uh, like my lighted area, the selected area, and drag it down to where uh, I want it to start. So now that that's... So now that's good, so I'm going to click done. And now when I go to my uh, movie. I'm on an by my lonesome strand. Low key is dead candy. Reflect on all the things I try my hand at. Search for the equation to persuasions I'm used to. Find a comfort in the zones of classic bones I get used to. Hello, I'm a Mac. Hold up. And there you guys have it. That is how you select the audio that you want to use for your iMovie clip. Now, you can also do fade in and fade out. So if I click audio adjustments, you can do your fade, or, yeah, your fade out. How long do you want the fade out to be? maybe about one second I want it to start fading out after one second now I'll click done but I want to make it so it's actually part of the video so now listen to this as you guys saw that the audio did start fading out for the last second that it was available now that's just how I'm playing around with the audio and i just showing you guys different things. The main purpose of this video, what I wanted to show you guys how to do, was to take the uh, take any song that you want to use. This is how I use, this is how I make it every time when I do my videos. Take any song, put it into an iMovie clip, select the part of the song you want and match it to the length of the clip itself and show you guys how to fade in and fade out, just stuff like that. So this is Bobby93 MacBoy, just a real quick tutorial for you guys today. Uh, I'll probably be coming out with more tutorials like this lately because I pretty much reviewed every single app I have on my computer. I know it's kind of a hassle. But anyway, so um, yeah, that is how to adjust the audio for uh, iMovie Clips and iMovie 09. This is Bobby93MacBoy. If you like my videos, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter, check out my website, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.